Another fun early morning breakfast on cooking with Jerry. Got to be quick so I can turn that bright light off before the bugs fly in our outdoor kitchen. Here I have breakfast already prepared but stay tuned because when it's daylight uh, we'll do another segment that I can explain more detail. The ingredients are apricot, grapes locally grown, cauliflower, purple cabbage, um, mackerel, and one more looking at my list, grated coconut. So I'm going to open it up so I can show you really quick. Loaded with nutrition. Main thing, whole foods, nothing processed except the coconut. And we'll come back and I'll explain more and uh, give you the information that might be good for you as well. All right, a bit more detail now in the preparation of our breakfast, which was really tasty, lots of nutrition lots of different ingredients. The first thing I want to say is that yes, the grated coconut is processed. There's a difference in the definition among the experts between processed and ultra processed. The ultra processed is like the Twinkie or the hot dog or all the food items that are on the shelves in the middle aisles of most grocery stores come in boxes or bags or cans with a very long shelf life. Those are ultra processed. And many times reading the ingredients, lots of words we can't pronounce, we don't know what they are. And many of those ultra processed foods have sugar or syrup. Processing, uh, for example, uh, I processed, looking at my list, the apricot. I changed it from its original form. I cut it into smaller pieces. Same with the grapes. I pulled them off the stem. It's different than its original form. The cabbage I chopped up, changed it, processed it, and um, the cauliflower as well, I just to let you know, it was one of those cauliflowers that I could break apart with my fingers, except a few pieces of stem I needed the knife to cut into smaller pieces. So the coconut is processed and many times in the production factory, they will put some kind of flour or powder on the product so that it doesn't stick together. Also a very common practice with grated cheese and maybe other grated vegetables. So just be aware of that and probably best to rinse any kind of grated product that you buy at the store. If you're doing it at home with a grater then it's fine. You would just probably want to wash the food item beforehand and then grate it. Also the mackerel is processed. It came in a can. It's best to eat fresh fish uh, but I live in a village and there's no fresh fish available and I don't have a fridge so I have been experimenting with different kinds of canned fish. Always choosing the smaller fish, mackerel, sardines, anchovies, I have stopped eating canned tuna because tuna is on the higher end of the food chain which means it has a higher concentration of mercury. The smaller fish have a lower concentration of mercury. So I learned recently learned, uh, reading uh, Dr. Mark Harmon's book, Food, What the Heck Should I Eat? to stay with the smaller fish. Um, and I also want to say I prepared everything in my frying pan. I had it right here and I was just putting everything as I prepared it into the frying pan. Uh, and then when I had prepared, processed everything, 
I put one tablespoon of salted butter and about three tablespoons of bottled water. Then I turned the heat on and I cooked everything for about five minutes. This specific meal would have been great raw, uh, except the mackerel is cooked um, before they package it into the cans. But I decided I can't eat raw food here because the water I use to rinse everything is well water. And two of the previous times I had raw food, the food went through me so quickly that it lets me know that my body recognized some kind of toxin uh, and had to get rid of it as quickly as possible. And the only thing that is providing the toxin must be the water. The other option I have is to rinse everything afterwards with clean bottled water, which I might do. Uh, but in this case, I cooked everything for about five minutes, raising the heat high enough and for long enough to neutralize any kind of toxin that might be in the well water but uh, would have been great as a raw food. Uh, raw food is the best for your body because it maintains its nutritional value and also everything in the plant that prepares it to be properly absorbed in your body. It's ideal, it's optimal, it's best if it's raw. I try to minimize the cooking process. So, so these five minutes was just enough. It also made the vegetables a little bit softer. Um, but everything was still crunchy except the apricots and uh, the grapes that I get here locally. The skin is fairly thick. I, I think to protect the grape from this heat and humidity. And there are also seeds inside which give a, a, a fairly intense crunch which would be a bad idea for someone who has unfilled cavities. I tried once to remove the seeds from these specific grapes but it wasn't easy, uh, everything just slid everywhere and I gave up so I crunch on those grape seeds uh, and there's lots of fiber, oils, and whatever my body can't use, my gut flora will use. And uh, as far as I've learned, it makes the gut flora, the gut microbiome, really happy. And when your gut flora is happy, everything else really works much better. They're discovering now with the science that a lot of disease is created because the gut microbiome is not in its best state because of all this ultra processed foods, fried foods, using vegetable oils and many countries still use margarine. Uh, so I think that's it for today's concluding segment. Thank you for watching and we'll see you really soon.